Welcome sa zipline.com uh, In this video ay uh, magsisipula tayo ng panibagong series no? Yung series natin on ratio and proportion And uh, as usual, we begin our series with a problem uh, In a basketball game, Rico made uh, 7 points out of 12 free throws Kyle made uh, 5 points out of 10 free throws Who has a better free throw record in the game? Well, uh, para sa mga hindi nagbabasketball, no, yung free throw ay uh, one free throw is one point. No? So, ang, ang minsan kasi yung mga field goals na iba na hindi free throw, two points or kaya three points pag medyo malayo ka dun sa, sa ring. No? So, here we have uh, one free throw is one point. Okay, so paano natin sasagutin itong problem na to? So, seven out of twelve, no? Meaning, 7 over 12. Pwede natin siyang i-represent as fraction. 7 over 12 si, si Rico, no? yung kanyang uh, record, at si Kyle naman ay 5 out of 10. Now, paano nga tayo nagko-compare ng fractions? Isa sa mga strategies, pag ang fractions natin ay dissimilar, meaning hindi pareho yung kanilang denominator is, we make them similar, no? And para natin magawa silang similar, we have to get the LCD of the two fractions. So, ang denominator ng una is 12, at yung denominator ng pangalawa is 10. So, para makuhin natin yung LCM ng 12 at saka 10, we have to divide them by prime numbers. No? And usually, ang inuuna natin ay prime numbers. Baka malito kayo sa LCD at saka LCM, no? LCD at saka LCM. Ang LCD, ang pinag-uusapan natin is uh, LCD is denominator, least common denominator. No? When you talk about LCD, you are talking about fractions. No? So, pwede mo sabihin na LCD of 7 over 12 and 5 tenths. 7 twelfth and 5 tenths LCD. Pag LCM naman, whole numbers na may pinag-uusapan natin. No? LCM of 12 at 10. No? LCD of 7 twelfth and 5 tenths and LCM, 12 and 10. No? So, yun ang karanimang misconception sa terminology na yan. Okay, so, balik tayo dito. We divide these numbers by prime numbers. Usually, ang pinakamababa. Ang pinakamababang prime number is 2. So, 12 divided by 2 is 6. And 10 divided by 2 is 5. Actually, pwede na ito, no? But as a general rule, hanggat hindi prime lahat, I divide mo muna sa prime number. So, ano pa pwede natin divide? Yung 6, we divide 6 by 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 5 divided by 2 cannot be. Just copy. This is the ladder method no, ng LCM. No? So, kung hindi kayo familiar dito sa method na to, you just watch the video on uh, LCM na ladder method. No? So, pag prime na lahat, we multiply this is 2 times 2 is 4 times 3 is 12 times 5 is 60. So, ibig sabihin yung LCD natin dito, or LCM natin ay 60. Okay. Okay, pag pareho na sila 60, ang ginagawa natin, 60 divided by 12, 5 times 7, 35. And then, 60 divided by 10, 6 times 5, 30. So, clearly, we have uh, shown kung sino ang mas magandang record, no? What's the better record? Of course, this is 35 over 60. And meaning, si Rico. So, nasagot na natin yung tanong. Now, um, another, of course, another solution is kung hindi tayo pwedeng, or kung gusto nyo mas mabilis at kumamit kayo ng calculator, kung gusto nyo kumamit ng calculator, we can use uh, division, no? Seven, 7 divided by 12, no? I think nakalitan nyo na kasi sinolve po na kanina. This is 0.583333. So, this is approximately approximately 0 0.5833. No? And, niround off ko na, no? And this one, I think this is obvious, no? Ano ba to? 5 over 10 is 0 0.5, di ba? So, pwede rin ito. ito. Ito pa rin yung magiging sagot natin. Of course, no? And of course, kung gusto nyong in percent siya, this is approximately 58.33%. And yung isa naman equal to 50%. No? 
So as we can see, we can represent the record using uh, fractions, decimals, or percent. Now question, ano ang kinalaman nitong problem na to dun sa ating uh, topic na ratio and proportion? Now, aside from fractions, pwede rin natin i-represent ang dalawang quantities ng, ng uh, ratio. No? At, for example, yung 7, 12, pwede natin siyang i-represent as 7, colon 12. No? At yung colon na yan, ang basa natin yan pag ratio, this is ratio. No? Pag ratio na yan, ang basa natin dyan is 2. 7 is to 12. No? And here, ang ratio natin dito is 5 is to 10. Okay? So, is to rin yan. Okay? So, yan yung uh, uh, isang examples or dalawang examples ng ratio. No? So, a ratio is a relationship no? between two numbers. No? A ratio... A ratio is a relationship. Define na natin, no? Between two numbers. So finding the ratio of one number to another, finding the ratio the ratio ratio of one number of one number to another is a method of Comparing these two numbers by division. By division. So, pag, pag division, pwede mo siyang gawing fraction, decimal, or percent. No? And ibig sabihin, kung mayroon tayong ratio, pwede rin natin siyang uh, i-represent as itong mga to, itong mga representations na yan. And of course, when we talk about ratio, na pwede natin iganito, pwede natin siyang represent as fraction, percent, or, or decimals. We are just talking about the ratio of two numbers. No? Kasi pag ratio na yung pinag-uusapan, pwede na natin siyang, pwede na tayo mag-represent ng, ng uh, ratio ng two or more numbers. No? For example, pwede tayo mag-represent ng 1 is to 2 is to 3. So pag ganito na siya, eh, mahirap na siyang iganito, no? i-represent ng ganito. Okay, so sa susunod na video ay magkakaroon tayo ng more problems and examples on how to use a ratio and its representation. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.